Forensic people operate in the real world. Forensic practices get called when, uh, when people have real issues. And today, in today's world, where things are changing, where we're talking about cybercrime, where we're talking about complex data, the world has changed for the forensic practitioner. And it's become almost an imperative that the forensic practice of old change to the modern one. I'd like to talk about those six things which fundamentally, as far as I'm concerned, drive that change within a forensic practice to become a modern one. The first one deals with technology. The technology driver within a forensic practice have probably increased tenfold from where it was five, six years ago. The complexity of data, the volume of data, and the fact that there is no paper in most instances. Well, the paper don't talk that much anymore has created a need for a forensic practice that is technology driven through and through. The second big play within a modern forensic practice is the reality around people. A few years ago, most of those people that practiced in a forensic practice were people that were either transferred from a legal world or from a chartered accountant world or an accountant. Or an accountant. Today we need specialists. For that reason, a real intern learnership is required for people to become part of that real world uh, specialist that, that have been groomed for years into that specific role of being a forensic accountant and a forensic investigator to really deliver the kind of people that can solve the challenges that we have on a daily basis as a forensic practice. The next big play that goes into a forensic practice, a modern forensic practice, is the regulatory demand. Not, not so much just the fact that there are regulations, it's the volume and the complexity of those regulations combined with how a particular regulation fit into a specific sector or industry. That has become almost a, a, a driver for much, for much of the services that people require these days from a forensic practice and particularly then a modern forensic practice. Hand in hand with this is the specialization that's required these days within sectors or particular industries. In the old days, it may have been good enough to be a procurement specialist, be able to move over all the sectors, but the detail and the knowledge you require from a particular industry, like a telco, like a financial services industry, like the mining industry, has driven the need for forensic uh, technologists, forensic investigators, forensic accountants to really understand that world and be able to work deep into the specialized world that create the essence of that sector. The last and probably one of the most fundamental and big developing areas within a forensic practice is the need for proactive action. People have moved to the point where they don't want to purely discover the fraud. They want to see it coming, they want to have the prevention, detection and, and specific issues that they can do with, that they can deal with to, to be able to tackle that particular problem the ethics consulting, the soft skills that you need to work into that, what I'd like to call the grey area, has become exceptionally important. And it's not just a black and white, rule-based approach anymore. It is the soft skilled people that can take a client into the prevention world where they can deal with, with those things that we call grey and sits on the borderline of being into, uh, borderline between what is real criminal and what is just wrong. I have now covered fundamentally the five big plays, technology, people, sector specialization, regulatory play and proactive services. And over the next few weeks and months, we will share with you in more depth and in more detail what each of these really mean for a modern forensic practice. We will unpack the details set with it, the tools, the approaches, the kind of people you need and how you understand that reality world that fits into each of these fundamental five areas that drive a modern forensic practice. The modern forensic practice is a developing animal. It's not static. It needs constant change, as I've already said, and they've got particular focus areas. We will share these with you and unpack them in more detail, but it would be great if you can get back to us with some of your experiences, some practical issues that you may pick up, some real challenges that you may have that you want to share with us and others to really take this discussion to the next level where all of us can learn from each other because the forensic world is one that develops as the issues arise and possibly because the guys out there that's the bad guy are probably 
two steps ahead of us, and we need to catch up with that.